everyone. Uh, my name is Brett Watanabe. I'm the uh, product planner for the new 2018 Honda Fit. As you can see here, we have our new uh, uh, sport trim, uh, which we have done a lot of uh, styling, uh, aesthetics, or upgrades to the car. Uh, we have our front grille here. We have a two-tone. It's a black lower with a chrome upper. Also, we have a new uh, lower lip where it has an orange accent line, which is unique to the sport trim, which is really cool. Here we have the, uh, the sport trim with the HFP Honda Factory Performance uh, wheel, which is a black 16-inch alloy. As you can see here, we have our two accent orange lines, which uh, matches the rest of the car. Also, too, the mention is that we have here our new color, starting with the 2018 Fit. It's called Orange Fury. And then we also have a new color called uh, Helios Yellow. We have the interior, which we've also added stylish accents to. We have the uh, orange stitching that we've accented the seats with. We have a titanium shift knob that's offered with the HFP accessories. The red floor mats you can see down here as well. And then as well as we have the new display audio. So this is the advanced display audio, which offers not just the volume knob, but has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which has the connectivity that people want in their car. Honda Sensing is probably the largest item that we've included on all of our trims. And it's a standard feature from EX and above. This includes the full suite, road departure mitigation, lane keep assist, active cruise control. So we're adding a lot of value in our feature content with the car. Then also with the back here, you can see that we have our sport badge, and as well as we have a lower garnish down here, which is a diffuser with the orange accent line as well. And then on the very bottom here, we have our uh, chrome tip exhaust. And then we have the uh, HFP accessory spoiler, which has a more aggressive stance to it. And also down here, you can see we have on the sport trim, the HFP accessory side skirt and you can see it's badged here. And then we also have a it badge on the rear bumper as well to kind of signify that you bought the HFP accessory kit. Well, and there you go. This is our 2018 Honda Fit. We've done a lot of improvements to it. The styling's been enhanced and go check it out at, at your dealer. I think you'll enjoy it. The 2018 Fit's Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS, is calibrated in one of two ways, depending on the model. After the TPMS indicator light comes on in the instrument panel, it's the one that looks like the cross-section of a tire with an exclamation mark in the middle. Be sure to check the tire pressure in all four tires, make any necessary repairs, and fill the tires to the pressure recommended on the label in the driver's door jam. Now, to start the calibration process, make sure the ignition is on and the transmission is in park, or if it's a manual, in neutral. Set the parking brake. Look for a button to the left of the steering column labeled with the TPMS icon. If it's there, push and hold it until the TPMS indicator in the instrument panel blinks twice. Then the calibration process will begin. If there's no TPMS button, press the up or down arrows on the lower right side of the steering wheel until the readout in the information display says Vehicle Settings, and press the Select Reset button. TPMS calibration will appear. Press the Select Reset button again to get to the customization screen. And finally, select Calibrate with the arrow buttons and press Select Reset once more. A Calibration Started screen will appear to indicate that the process has begun. The calibration process takes a while to complete. The car will have to be driven for about 30 minutes at speeds between 30 and 60 miles per hour, but not all at once. Be aware that during the calibration period, the TPMS indicator may flash or come on briefly until the process is completed. This is normal. The FITS directional microphone in the overhead console is positioned to pick up the driver's voice commands from the normal sitting position, so no need to lean in when speaking. Just minimize other noises and talk in a normal voice. Use these tips when you talk to the FIT standard Bluetooth hands-free link system or available Honda Satellite Linked Navigation System. Just give the talk button on the steering wheel a short press. And if you've got Apple CarPlay or Android Auto hooked up, you can engage Siri or talk to Google by just giving that talk button a good long press until you hear the system respond. <laughs>